I'm Dr. Carlos Acosta from the Singapore Polytechnic. Uh, I'm here for the, I'm the local chair of the Humanoid League. Uh, about the Robocop, this is the Robocop 2010 event. So just let me tell you what are the different leagues that we have. We have, uh, with the actual real robots, we have a humanoid, which is a human-like robot. We also have the small size. The small size is a, a car-like uh, robot that has four wheels, but it can move to any direction. And you also have a bigger version of that one, which is also using wheels, which is called the middle size. So you have small size and middle size. They are like car-like, they, they're using wheels, and they can move in any direction. Uh, for human-like shapes, we have the humanoid, and we also have the standard platform lead. The standard platform lead, what is happening is that they're using the same, the same hardware, we could say the same hardware, the same robot structure, and the only thing that they focus is on the software control of the robot. He's putting on his uniform. So how did you guys do in the last RoboCup? Uh, we won. You won? Yeah. And that's what we're trying to do again. And, and the ultimate purpose of the RoboCup is? Yes, the, the goal of RoboCup is that by 2050, uh, 40 years from now, we're going to have a team of robots, human robots, full-size human robots, playing against the world champions. And the team of robots must beat the human champions. And, and so how close are we really? I mean, I saw some of the large adult-sized robots mm -hmm. Uh, flopping around like uh, zombies. Um, just let me tell you, the, this uh, big robot that you saw is the adult size, and this is the first year that we actually have the adult size. Eight years back, when we were having the kid size for the first time, they were also like that, moving like zombies and very slow, and when they fall on the ground, that's it. That's, that's the end of the robot. They cannot pick up and continue the game. But now, if you look at the final of the kid size, it's pretty amazing. The robots are moving around so fast and they can give passes to each other and then also when the, when the other uh, a team kicks and try to score the goal, the goalkeeper will dive, will go, will try to pick up the ball and clear the area. So I would say at this stage we are still, you know, like a kids, but we are aiming that by 2050 we are going to be like the adult size, real adult size and we will be ready for the world champions. Robot, 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 robot.